Okay, well, I'm going to be doing a re-review of the Nephilim race mod, and it is actually now a race mod, as you can tell from this. Uh, so I'm just going to load up a random preset. And I'll actually show you the difference in all that stuff. As you can tell, it's, it's going to be all preset, but I want to show you the limitations, at least for the hair itself. As you can see, you only have about 10 different hairstyles for this. So there is limits to what you can and cannot uh, have your character look like. So let's just go with that. If you wanted to do a different nose, then you're pretty much limited to just a, uh, you know, the regular ones. Which aren't actually all that flattering, I don't think. Whatever. But, whatever. Uh, this is not going to be anything that I'm going to be playing with anyway. So, let's go with done. And just accept it as that name. Uh, combat style. Let's just make them a knight. Uh, you do have to note, however, that this particular race does not use a UMP, CBBE, or anything like that. It's just going to be a default body type. Uh, the default uh, vanilla Skyrim body. And, yeah, it, it just does randomness to it. Uh, like, some of the stuff you can actually change around, some of the stuff you can't. Uh, I think this was done for compatibility-wise, uh, but I'm not too too sure exactly. Uh, they do mention that since it is a its own standalone race now and not a conversion race or a transformation, that uh, it... Will ha won't have all the uh, problems that it used to have. Okay, I might want to move out of this area. <laughs> Don't need to be trampled before I even start. Okay. So, as you can tell, my character now is a sword and board and is wearing heavy armor. Uh, that's just because of a different mod. But for this, uh, when you start off, you're going to get the astral projection, which creates clones, like an astral projection clone of yourself, which can fight and distract enemies while you try to escape or whatnot. Uh, there is also destructive anxiety, which is a uh, class unique uh, ability. Then there's also the angel blade, which uh, lasts for a very, very long time and uses up only 72 uh, mana. Or... And then, if you want to turn into the angel form, you just have to check off the angel form, and then use the shout button. Now, there is an issue with clipping. As you can tell, the wings actually will clip through you. Oh, I might want to leave here. And to actually fly with that, like as you saw, you actually have to uh, run and you actually have to like do a jump. Once you get to the glide, then you start using the sprint button uh, to start uh, you know, ascending. The problem with this is uh, you actually have to continue holding forward because if you don't, watch what happens. I just let go of everything. And now my character is starting to fall like a rock. <laughs> so you do need to continuously hold forward. But the good news is you don't take fall damage. So, uh, to start off with, since I'm not in combat, so I can explain it better. To uh, do the glide, what you do is you hold forward, you jump, hold the jump button, and they'll start to uh, do a glide. Then you just use the sprint button if you can actually get to go right. Let's see if I can try this again. Forward, jump, glide. You, you do need to have some kind of like, uh, as you can tell, sometimes it doesn't work out quite right and it just does freaky stuff to it. Let's see if I can get a high enough point where I can actually do this. It will kind of glitch out on you. What the? 
once you get to that, once you get to the, uh, your character is at a horizontal position, that's when you use the sprint button and you can actually ascend. You can actually then let go of the uh, jump button because that won't matter anymore. Uh, but to continuously like ascend or do anything, you're going to need to hold down the sprint button in order, in order to uh, uh, rise. If you want to lower yourself down, you're going to actually have to use the snake button. Uh, so that is uh, going to actually just make you drop out of the sky. Uh, I'm going to try landing on the throat of the world. <laughs> Uh, so, also, once you let go of the uh, sneak button, not the sneak button, but the, uh, the uh, sprint button, you do start gliding again. It's not an actual flight. As you can tell, I am losing altitude while, while gliding. So, if I want to regain altitude, I just need to do the sprint again. And it's just this constant, you know, readjusting of your altitude and how high up you want to go. And as you can tell, some some odds will actually kind of glitch through the wings. The wings themselves will uh, glitch through the body. With, with this kind of a mod, you don't even have to worry about uh, your character even being naked because, well, they wear the default underwear anyway. And you do also have to uh, note that some armor mods won't work properly with this particular race. Uh, it kind of acts all freaky out, freaked out and stuff. So there are actually some compatibility issues still within the race itself. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you use this particular race. But as you can tell, I am actually doing fairly well flying to the uh, top of the mountain. And if you're trying to look around like I'm trying to do right now, it won't do that. It will just, uh, like the camera controls themselves are taken over by the uh, uh, control itself since you, it locks you into having to hold forward anyway. Uh, other than that, there's really nothing new about this mod. I mean, yeah, it's got some drawbacks. Yeah, it's got some good points to it. The flight mechanics are little, kind of like a little glitchy at times, so you do have to uh, be careful about that. Uh, you do have to hold forward the entire time you're trying to fly, or else it won't fly. Uh, and if you don't get things right, if you don't things, yeah, if you don't get them just right, then you just don't even fly or you just drop. So, if you like this mod, if you want to play as uh, one of these characters while still using your original uh, character for, well, uh, I don't know why, but the game closed down on me. Uh, as I was saying, if you wanted the character to be. Uh, one that you've already been playing as then you'd have to download an older version that had the ring uh, if you want to play as this one then you've got to deal with the fact that your character creation is slightly limited but other than that then no big issues uh, yeah uh, so you'll be able to get to places like this without any issue <laughs> so yeah they this is like a mod I should say, check out, which, see which version you want to uh, play with. Uh, if you want one with a, that's the older version that plays with the ring, go for the one that's around like 2.5 or 2.05 or something like that. That still has the ring, that still has the uh, uh, ability to transform your character into the uh, Nephilim character. Uh, so, with, without the uh, limitations that the... Uh, race hat currently has right now uh hopefully in the future it will be expanded upon i don't see it being done right now so just keep an eye out for future updates for this mod and uh if you have any questions ask and i can try to answer them for you i mean i made this video because somebody asked me to uh figure out how to do the flying mechanics so yeah hopefully this one uh answers any questions that people have for the current build for this mod if not, like I said, ask and I'll look into it and try to figure it out. Uh, Till uh, next time, take care. See ya.